Hey guys, so we're back for part five of our contortion series and today it's all about learning how to do the needle scale. So before you do this video, make sure you've really stretched out your splits and shoulders and you could do videos one and two on split stretching and shoulder stretching. Before you do this, make sure you're really, really warm and also you will need to have your full front split and a certain amount of shoulder flexibility before you do this. So we're going to be using this band, it's from Decathlon, um, a stretch band, but you could use any other kind of resistance band if you don't have one of these. So I hope it's useful and enjoy it. So make sure you've done the shoulders back stretching video and the split stretching video before you do this. You will need to have a flat split before you can do a proper needle. So if you just sit with one leg out in front of you and if you have some yoga blocks or something to hold on to that could help and then use a stretch band around one of your ankles. So there's lots of settings in this band so you can start as easy as you want. Just put your hand through a loop and then rotate your shoulder around, put your head back and this should warm up your shoulder rotation. So once you've done same arm as leg, you're going to do opposite arm to leg. and then you can gradually make it harder by making it closer to your foot. Once you've gotten all the way to the tightest setting, you can try holding onto your foot and if possible grab your ankle or even lower down your leg if you can. everything again in a lunge once you've done a few rotations you can try and straighten your leg until it touches the ground
everything again in the splits standing if you have something to hold on to in front of you to start with and you're going to do it with one arm at a time to start with so if you start with the same arm as a leg always try and grab as low down on your leg as you can go for your ankle if your ankle's easy try and go towards your knee the more you go towards your knee the less strain you're going to put on your shoulder because the more you can bend your arm Really lean right forward so your body is at a right angle to your leg. If you keep your body upright, it's going to be more difficult to get the split line on it. So when you lean forwards, you should really be pulling on your split and feeling the stretch in your splits. So the more you lean forwards as well, the less strain you're going to put on your back and the more you'll feel it in your legs and shoulders. Try and think of it as a leg stretch. So you're really pulling on your split into an over split. So really try and walk your hands down before you go into it as much as you can to your ankle and past that if you can. And as you're going into it, really try and walk them down even more. Just keep wriggling your fingers down as close to your knee as you can get it so that your arms are bent. And then lean forwards as much as you can. If you do it next to a wall, you can lean on the wall so you don't have to think about your balance so much. Balancing it in the middle is really difficult, so you just have to keep doing it as much as you can. When you're doing it in the middle, don't worry so much about getting a perfect shape, just do it where you can and work on the balance. your balance if you practice it with your foot on a block or a yoga block. So if you practice it on canes or you have something where you can grip your toes on the end it can help work on your balance.
Well, thank you again for watching. I hope it was useful. And if you have any questions, please comment them below. Bye.